what is going on it's been a while i've been working 60 70 hours a week at a new job uh doesn't leave much time for cars but i do have a lot more money now which is going to be obvious here in a second when i show you things i've been buying i got this uh suburban three-quarter ton it's actually an old fbi truck you can see it's got the uh red and blue lights behind the grill there they're not hooked up but i am going to hook them up because i think they'd be kind of cool uh, i bought this i got i got this trailer here for the grand national it's sitting in there that is that has turned into a uh, much more crazier project than i had previously intended due to my increased finances uh This here is a motor out of a NASCAR Bush car. Uh, it's a Buick V6. Uh, when I get done with it, it should be good for about 1600 horsepower, which should get that car with full interior, street car, should get that into the sevens, which is my goal for it. I'm sure it'll take some dialing in and a little bit of work to get there, but that should be enough power, 1600 horse um this thing i try to tow my trailer in grand national with this and uh it got very warm and then the cool plastic radiator decided to split i don't know if you can see it's got a crack right across there it's leaking out so the stock radiator is about an inch thick right here inch thick core on this radiator Got a new aluminum one off Amazon, uh, two and a quarter, so more than twice as thick. Hopefully that equates to a lot more cooling. I got a cute little doggy here. This is Lily. I also have a new fan clutch. This is supposed to, uh, I think, spin a little more than the stock one did. It slips a little less, a little bit more cooling with that. I got a new water pump. I went ahead and put a colder thermostat in too. And uh, hopefully this stuff will make a difference. The truck was running, it'd run like, it'd get up to like 210 right away. And then when I towed it, it get to like 240 plus, it was just too hot. If you guys are into uh, 1500 horsepower street cars, turbocharged muscle cars, I go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can check out this build. Uh, Right now it's got some dents up in the roof. I guess it had a shelf on top of it at one point in time and it broke. Uh, it's gonna be going to the body shop here in about a week. Uh, when it's done with that, I can put the headliner back in it. Once the headliner's back in it, it's going off to the chassis shop. It's getting a uh, 850 cage and a parachute mount and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm gonna actually, I wanna actually use just like a, like a hitch underneath the bumper, like a remove. I wanna have this uh, on off switch for the battery. I wanna mount that in the taillight. I want to run the cable for the parachute through the tail light. And then when I'm not on the strip, I'll just, I'll have like a street tail light that covers all that up. So uh, I want it to look stock inside and out. So uh, the wheels and tires would be like the only giveaway really. This is definitely going to be a very cool project. Uh, I want to take out a little tiny V6. This is a, a cute little V6 here. And uh, I think it'd be fun to pop the hood and see this little thing. And then go out and pick on some of the turbo ls guys with it so uh that should be pretty fun the grand national when it came out in the 80s it was faster than the fastest corvette so if you can imagine if buick today came out with some sports car that beats the zr1 corvette that'd be pretty crazy or a c8 or whatever um but that's what they did back in the 80s and that's kind of where i want the car to be today i want to have it still be a street car, but I mean, it went out, it wasn't just Corvettes in the eighties, man. That thing beat Ferraris, it beat everything almost. There was very few cars that could hang with that thing. It was from the factory. It was like one of the baddest cars around. So, uh, and then they soup, you soup them up so easy too. They were just, there was a lot of things getting stomped by Grand Nationals in the eighties. And uh, that's kind of what I want to be today. Cars have gotten a lot faster, but I think it'd be super cool. I got a hold of one of these, this is, a NASCAR motor and uh, 1600 horsepower on the street. There's not going to be too many cars that can keep up with that. So it should be a pretty good time. 
Uh, I got my Cummins over there still on the street. That truck has uh, way more fuel than it needs. Uh, we got some nitrous puddles here and I got some nitrous lines somewhere over there. Um, I think we're gonna combine all that stuff and uh, goof off a little bit one day here soon. I'll make a video. I don't, think, I don't even think I'm going to use a nozzle. I'll just crack open the night just a certain amount and uh, see how fast the truck goes. It's got plenty of fuel to go with it, so it should be a pretty good time. So anyway, check back soon, and I'll catch you guys next time.